Eight times one equals eight. Eight times two equals sixteen. Eight times three equals twenty-four. I just multiplied. The definition of multiplied means adding groups of numbers together. A synonym of multiply is times. You might use multiplication if you want to find the area or something. You should know how to multiply because you don't want to do 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Instead, you can do 4 times 4, which equals 16. Isn't that much easier? Then you do 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then you get your answer. There should be no talking. 4, 7, 10, 12, 11. Digits are very important in math. If digits weren't here, math would not exist. My favorite digit is 3. Do you have a favorite digit? Math revolves around digits, and math is very important. I like to divide cake. The definition of divide is to separate into equal groups and find the number of each equal group. Some real life examples are 10 divided by 2 and 20 divided by 2. Divide every day so you can get the right amount of cake. Thank you. times 8 equals 24, you also have to know 8 times 3 equals 24, because now you know the commutative property. If you need, a, if you need to learn a little about the scale, just go. A scale is a device to weigh someone or something. You would use a scale at the doctor's office for a check. You can also use a scale to compare how much things weigh. I hope you learned about the scale. to show that 10 people like it. You might, you might make a picture that after you survey the group. The picture graph is important so you don't have to use numbers to draw.
story equals one. These are subtraction. The definition for subtract is to take away numbers to make smaller numbers. An example is 35 minus 12 equals 21. If we didn't have the word subtract, we would not be able to take away numbers that we need to if we have too many. My word is sum. Here are some examples of sum. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 10 plus 5 equals 15. 10 plus 9 equals 19. And 100 plus 2 equals 102. A sum is an amount obtained as a result of adding numbers. And a real life example is I have 9 marks. I got 10 more. How much do I have now? 9 plus 10 equals 19. My grade is important because it helps you remember adding. Three plus two times four. I will show you how to use the distributive property properly. <coughs> the distributive law says that multiplying a group of numbers added together is the same as doing multiplication separately. An example is five times four equals blank. Break the five into three plus two, then do four times three equals twelve, then four times three equals eight. So that makes 12 plus 8 equals 20, so 5 times 4 equals 20. Now use this method to make multiplying easier. Do you know what, do you know what the answer to a multiplication problem is called? Product, the answer to a multiplication problem. For an example, in 8 times 8, 64 is the product. Product is helpful because the without it, multiplication will have no answer. associate property is? Okay, great. Listen, here's all the information. Associate property is changing the group of, of three or more numbers, and the group does not change the product. For example, two times eight times three equals two times eight times three. If you put two times eight in parentheses, then it will still equal, and two times, and you put eight times three in parentheses, it will still equal the product that is 48. Without associate property, then in math, we won't be able to group numbers. Now you know what associate property is. Hmm. How to figure out who has more? A bar graph is a graph that you to obtain the box. The example is, if you want to find out who has more, make, bar graph. make a bar graph. It will help you. A bar graph is a is a is important because it helps find out who has more, like like cats. <laughs> red well, has orange, red by orange. A pattern is a repeating sequence, number or shape arranged according to a rule. Uh, this, that means a pattern repeats over time. Uh, a design follows a pattern and so does weather and Pattern is everywhere. Which way? That way. That way. <laughs> <laughs> what do gears do? Gears teach teeth which gears have teeth which gears are most found in plot. And come in some so, some different shapes and sizes. In conclusion, gears are cool. Ever wonder if machines have cousins? They do. A bolt is a screw's cousin. A bolt is a screw-like construction that is flat at the top and at the bottom. It has a nut that can go up and down the stretch out of the, the bolt. 
The bullet that gets rolled that crash these things together. To learn more, go to bullet.com. <laughs> Don't be a bully to the movable bully. The movable bully is a simple machine that helps lift things. I use a movable bully to, to lift the bully. Cranes are an, an example of a movable bully. That's what a movable bully does. So, then, um, so, when I pull this string down, it helps this movable bully helps lift this thing up. And, tell me this bully works. Newtons, Newtons, we're now about Newtons. A Newton is a unit of force. It will help you by showing you how much force it takes to do something, just like a push and pull needle. If you want to know how much force you are using, try measuring it with Newtons. A synonym for Newton is unit. Now remember, next time you use a push and pull needle, you shall know that you are measuring with Newtons.